So are you ready to eat some of the most delicious food available on the high seas? If you've sailed with celebrity before, you know that there are so many options that it can be overwhelming. Even on a seven day cruise, you can end up missing out on some of the most awesome food available on board. But fear not my friend, because today I'm gonna turn you into an expert at everything dinner related for your next celebrity cruise. Let's begin with the buffet. It's called Ocean View Cafe and is located on the top decks of your cruise ship. With a vast variety and selection of cuisine ranging from Italian to Asian to American, you are sure to find something that tantalizes your taste buds. The buffet is very convenient and offers a variety of options, operating like clockwork and without any dress codes. You simply walk up, grab a plate, fill it up with what you like, and then just go. The buffet also features unique options and nightly specials for you to explore on a daily basis. Moving on to the main dining room. If you're looking for a more formal dining experience, this place is for you. With a rotating menu that changes every day, you'll never get bored. The main dining room is complementary to the entire ship and serves a very large number of guests every night. The quality of the food is usually around a 7 out of 10 on average, and the food is prepared in mass quantities prior to dinner to accommodate the large number of guests. If you're on a solstice or a millennium class of cruise ships, there's only one main dining room to choose from, while if you're on the edge class series of cruise ships, there are four. For a more detailed review of the Edge Class Series dining experience, I'll link a video for you up top. It literally tells you everything you need to know. But in general, the main dining room dinner is usually your best free option on the celebrity cruise ship. For smaller meal options, you could check out Spa Cafe, which offers healthy choices, as well as Maz Grill if you were craving a burger or something like that. Technically speaking, I don't consider those dinner, but here they are. Now, if you're willing to splurge a little more, you can significantly upgrade your dinner experience on your next cruise by paying for a restaurant. Paid restaurants all have a cost per visit associated with them, ranging from $35 to $75 per person, allowing you to eat anything off of the menu that you like. Now, the question is, are they worth it? Well, let's find out. When cruising with a Millennium or a Solstice class of celebrity cruise ships, you usually have three or four paid options. Murano is a high-end French restaurant with impeccable service and delicious food. This is one of the best restaurants on the planet with a 10 out of 10 rating in every aspect. Some of the food is even prepared table side for you, making it a really unforgettable experience. It's around $55 per person and is worth every single penny. Trust me and go. If you have the opportunity, run to this restaurant and book a reservation. I can't say enough good things about Murano. Tuscan Grill is an Italian steakhouse with a cozy ambiance. Usually located at the back of the ship, offering stunning views, this restaurant has some of the best Italian dishes, including a 10 out of 10 rated steaks. I absolutely love Tuscan Grill and have visited several times to try out all of the things I wanted to. Definitely a good place. And just before we continue, if this is your first time here, my name is Tom Sunday and I make weekly cruise videos. If you're into that, I hope you decide to subscribe. Now La Petite Chef is a unique dining experience where a 3D animation brings your meal to life. You get to watch tiny characters work hard in preparing each one of your dishes, which is then served to you in real life. The food is fantastic, but the menus are fixed, which can be a bit of a downside for some people. There are essentially only eight items that you can pick from that menu. Overall, I'd say it's about a nine out of 10 experience. Raw on five offers a variety of sushi, sashimi, raw items like oysters, and some cooked dishes like noodles, crab cakes, and soups. It's priced per item, so it's a la carte like a normal restaurant, which is different from other restaurants on celebrity cruises. The quality of the food is very good, but it may not be worth the extra cost for some people. I would rate it about an eight out of 10 experience, similar to like a good sushi place back home. The Edge Class series of cruise ships, like every other celebrity cruise, offers Raw on 5 and La Petite Chef, but replaces Murano and Tuscan Grill with four new amazing restaurants. Let's start with La Voyage. Located on the Celebrity Beyond and the Ascent, it's a pinnacle of French dining. 
Created by a Michelin star chef, Daniel Belude himself, this restaurant features world-inspired French dishes that will blow your mind. It costs $75 per head and books up extremely quickly, so it's a definite must-visit for all of you who are foodies. It's worth noting that Daniel Belud also created the menus for Illumine, a retreat restaurant for sweet guests which we will discuss in just a moment. Eden is another gem of a restaurant located on all edge class series of ships. Rooted in nature, it draws inspiration from every region of the world. It features an open kitchen that allows you to watch the head chef and their team of culinary experts preparing your meal right in front of you. It's perfect in every single way. It's a must visit if you're cruising on one of these ships. Rooftop Grill is another good option for you if you want to enjoy your dining in the sky. Nested in the back of the rooftop garden, it offers filet mignons, wings, briskets, sliders, flatbread pizzas, and more. The wood fire grill offers a unique taste with higher quality meat than the main dining room. Overall, I rate this place about an 8 out of 10. It's above the main dining room, but below La Voyage, Eden, and La Petite Chef. Now, Fine Cut Steakhouse offers a classic steakhouse experience. Your meats will be expertly prepared and paired with your choice of sides. I usually rate this place about an 8 out of 10. The meats are always perfect, cooked really well, you will enjoy that. But the sides are a little bland. And the desserts, well, a bit lacking. Overall, it's on the same level as a rooftop grill. Now, there are two restaurants on celebrity cruise ships that are off limits to all guests unless you have an aqua class room or a retreat room, respectively. Blue serves aqua guests only. I did an entire video featuring this restaurant and everything I ate on my seven day cruise. I'll link the video for you up top. It's a must watch if you wanna know more. Last but not least is Lumine, a very exclusive restaurant only offered to guests who are willing to pay for the retreat package. This menu was also created by Chef Daniel Belude. Words cannot describe how amazing it is to eat at Lumine. I got a chance to try it for lunch one time and I still remember what everything tasted like. I can't recommend this place to you enough, but it is paywalled behind a very hefty price tag of a suite. Celebrity offers an impressive range of dining options that cater to all tastes and budgets. Whether you're a foodie or just looking to satisfy your hunger, you won't be disappointed. Bon appetit, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.